We're going to continue to build these rallies up and get closer and closer to the city, closer to the State Premier's office. How did these immigrants, these African men, fighting aged men, how did they get here? Who signed off on it? We want names. If we don't get names, then we will hold you responsible, Premier. They're scared. They're scared of a working class, a united Australian working class, holding them to account for what they have done and are continuing to do to this country. It was only a matter of four days. If we promoted this months out, we would have lost the page, we would have lost the event page, um, and would have just died in the arse. But because it was so quick and abrupt, um, which we all agreed this is the best time to do it, um, that, that was the reason it was successful. As of last night, they realised there was nothing they could do and the more they talked about us, the more they were just concentrating the attention of the general public on us. Because everything they tried to say about us, regardless of how relentless it was, everyone was just criticising them and laughing at them. And that's why this morning they made not even the slightest mention of us not in the newspapers. I don't think any article has been published yet by any corporation because I think they're being given the command to just be quiet about it. Because if they can't deter people from going, if people are going to go, their job is to try to kill us by silence, by not talking about it. Our forefathers built this country, they fought and died for this country on the beaches in uh, Gallipoli and in the trenches in France and everywhere else, so we should have the right to be anywhere we like. And these people are trying to take that right away from us, it's bullshit. I am so proud to be amongst you all today. Absolutely right. I can't believe how many of you actually come out today, even with Melbourne's weather, as you would know, it's always going to rain, it's always going to be sunny, and to the, the people out there that come down, take their time to stick it up this government scum, telling us what to do all the, all the damn time, and trying to stomp us out. Hey. same people who write the news. They're the same people who write the education curriculum, who tell your children what to think. The same people who force immigration onto our country. And then as soon as we start saying, hang on, what's going on with all this crime and terror? Shut up, you racist. These people give the police their orders. They're just following those orders, but eventually I know, just as in France, just as in Belgium, just as all throughout Europe right now with the yellow vest protests, these guys, those of them with a heart, with a national soul, will stand with us. UPF 2.0.